We're in the middle of a battle against not a dragon. It is a frog. And I think we're poisoned. But he figured out a way. Nor figured out a way to counter the poison. And I'm like, what is he doing? Is he parrying the poison? Is it light heal that's working right now? I'm not really sure. Aside from that, the actual plot is our kingdom is under attack. Us and Lin have been sent to a different nation as like a, a place of sanctuary to hide away from while we're getting under attack by the magical empire right and on the way we fought this frog which is being controlled by this other demon child as well i think let's begin today's reaction hmm? huh they're not playing the racist sand music anytime you're in this kind of region you know you gotta start playing the prince of arabia fucking aladdin music I feel like they're being racist for playing a, uh, a European medieval style music in this uh, nation. Yep. <laughs> so what? We're fucked. So if they play a desert nation stereotypical music, it's all, it's racist. And if they don't do it, then it's also so racist. <laughs> they don't win. They never win. Locked up. It's the demon child. <laughs> I thought they threw shit at us to eat. Okay, we got moldy stale ass bread. <laughs> Why even keep them around? Just fucking execute them, put them out their misery. <laughs> I'm totally down for a revenge plot to take down this entire nation with monsters. Yep, fuck them. <laughs> Maybe his like entire family were slaughtered by like demons that control the beasts too though. <laughs> And this is getting so heavy all out of nowhere. Because, like, yeah, everyone here is also impacted by the demons, right? So that's why they're so angry. But it's just like, this kid didn't do it, you know? He didn't, he didn't do anything. But it's just a cycle of revenge. This is actually like, has I Perry only been this heavy and emotional? I think no story so far. It, it's just been. Kind of just casual fun, right? There's nothing been so deep and heavy. Like, this is coming out of nowhere. The mom and dad intro, yeah. What a good kid. If I was him, I'd want to just burn this place down. Is this the magical empire then? So he was sent on a mission. That's what he's doing, right? He was sent with this poison frog thing to go take down our kingdom. And I know our kingdom is under attack by the empire, but I'm not sure if these is, this is the empire. He has the circlet thing around his head, but I forget exactly what they look like when they were talking through face cam. So it's either this is the magical empire or the empire is also working with other nations and they're all in on it together. <laughs> as soon as I <laughs> Pride ReZero Subaru Pride I am so geared to any time I see that warp Oh zone in お前が言うことしない。たらふくうまい虫を食わせてやる。お前だけじゃなくここにいる全員だがことあるならこれまでと同じ。いや、ノーチョイス。これまでより強い。頭につけた魔道具の効力で。マジカルデバイス。ああ
人が約束してくれたからちゃんと殺さなきゃ I feel so bad He was just minding his own business too bro They were just minding their own business And then we had to just fucking inspect them and fucking blow their fucking day Like Completely unwarranted We were not even being hostile minding our business <laughs> Just everything just sucks about the scene that's from the perspective of the demon kid. <laughs> Imagine having that realization. I'm like, oh, wait. I don't have to worry about it anymore. I, I can just die right now. And every and then and then Nor didn't even let that happen. <laughs> Nor parried this kid's last shred of mercy. <laughs> and said, nope, you're gonna live and you're gonna suffer. No no. I think that he's gonna join our team. He's definitely gonna join our team by the end of this, and we're gonna get the revenge against them and justice will be served, man. <laughs> Just once he wants a good meal. <laughs> you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> Pairing his one, you know, chance of like mercy to rest in peace. <laughs> now he gotta suffer because you parried his fucking death wish. <laughs> Nah, I think that now we're gonna save the kid and everything is gonna be good and we're gonna feed that kid some good food too. Cause he's the main character. Oh yeah, fuck the answer though for Nor. He's gotta figure it out. What about the kid? How's that kid gonna survive? Light heal? He caught it early. Got it, got it. Damn, he healed a kid instead of himself. So that makes even more sense why he was getting impacted so much. Even I'm like, why didn't you just use light heal? He was busy using it on the kid. But the bleeding stopped last episode. He figured out something. Right? Less blood. What happened? Like what? Did he just get used to the fucking poison? Is he inherently just like have antidotes that he can make in his blood because he's just built different? How did he have this like natural immunity? Not a complete immunity, but it seems to be working against the poison. Like what? All right, the flashback is gonna explain to us how he has this immunity, I guess. What? During ch what, what, what? When you were going to get some ingredients in the mountains, you accidentally ate like some sort of sacred herb that gives you fucking immunity against all types of ailments? What, what, what is it, bro? What did you find here? Even if there was something incredible in there. Gee, I wonder what he ate. Probably some insane fucking herbs. <laughs> this fucking idiot just, just ate a... He didn't even check. He was just foraging and then he ate whatever was on the ground. So this thing, this red thing is super poisonous. But he clearly survived. Meaning? He has built up resistance against poison then. That's what it, this flashback is, right? Classic low heal. Dragon's Ruin. That's cr Mom told me to never eat this one. He still fucking ate it because I guess he didn't know the shape. Damn, that's crazy, huh? The name is called Dragon's Ruin to allude to like if a dragon ate this, it'd be their end because of how that's powerful. It would ruin even a dragon? 
ザも絶対に食べちゃいけないって言ってたなきゃ Still parrying while sick. What are you gonna do about this kid? Just gonna low heal and hope it goes away? I think he built up to resistance. I swear to God, kid, if you eat this shit again. If you fucking eat this shit again after what happened. But he got better, meaning he built up the resistance. So I bet if he ate this shit, he could tolerate it. <laughs> Stop! It's just getting comical now! And now what? Is this a dragon serpent? So first he eats the most poisonous herb, and now a fucking venomous snake is by it. So he's building up all kinds of crazy poison resistance right now. <laughs> Bro! So he basically tanked it. He tanked all of it by using low heal to maintain. And now, no amount of poison is lethal to him. <gasps> no, it was Dragon's Ruin. Dragon's Ruin was so good that the poison spike snake thing that didn't even matter. Got it, got it. He's just eating the snakes now. The poison is food. <laughs> oh my. If only this kid existed in failure frame. Bro, if this kid existed in failure frame and he was Toka's enemy, the fuck is poison gonna do to me, bro? Like, it's not gonna do shit. I don't know about a new skill, but you definitely built up tolerance, so it's basically a passive of poison resistance. What the fuck? You're gonna eat the dragon's rune again, you idiot! You eat it again? Bro, I don't know if this is confidence or sheer stupidity. I could eat poisonous things at the cost of vomiting a small amount of blood, yet totally worth it. Like, what a ridiculous flashback. This is borderline insane stupid. It's combined everything. It is hilarious. It's hilarious because of how stupid and insane this shit is right now. My god. <laughs> Look at his face. What a discovery. His blood's just coming. It's actually funny. It's it's actually fucking funny, and I don't know if they're trying to be funny, but this is hilarious to me. He's good. I'm gonna eat this frog. I would immediately strike him. Don't monologue. What are you doing monologuing? Hit him right now before he can suck it in. Grip changed. Grip changed. What? A different type of parry? Also, I just realized. The hilt of this blade, the handle is very interesting, right? The upper hand already has some sort of bolster right underneath to lock it in. And then it's, it's got like two handles, you know what I mean? But new stance, the grip changes. Nice! Enes, you bitch. Enes, you bitch. He doesn't know how to attack, only parry? Don't fucking say that to me. He doesn't know how to attack, only parry? Do not be this intellectually dishonest with me. You are being so unreasonable. This motherfucker just hit it. You calling this shit a parry? You know what a fucking parry is? When someone comes at you with a fucking blade, then you fucking parry counter the hit. This motherfucker didn't parry shit. He fucking hit it multiple times before two. All these different battles. These are not parries. He just hitting this shit and just saying parry. Right? Like sometimes, yes, the attack is showing and he does counter it. But a lot of the times, he just strikes and just says parry. Don't you fucking say that he doesn't know how to fucking attack, bro. Come on now.
And I want you to know this bitch right here, Ines, bro. She sat behind doing nothing, protecting the princess and offering no help because rent free in her head because daddy likes Noor more than me. Let's go, Noor. Pair the frog. Can we eat this thing, though? He's still thinking about eating it. Demon kid, come join our team. Is he gonna lie? What's he gonna say? Oh, the honest! What an innocent kid. Is he making the connections? Uh, it's Nor. I'm not gonna I'm not I'm I'm not gonna believe that he actually knows what's going on. He's gonna make some dumbass assumption right now. Like <laughs> he understands the kid is bringing the frog here to the city. He promised. Well, the city. I don't know if the city is he's thinking about our kingdom or a different city nearby, but he, he gonna think something stupid, bro. Yeah. Meat deliverer. You think he's the butcher? You think that random people could just eat this poisonous frog? Because he eats the poisonous frog. Because he thinks that other people can eat the The level of stupidity is now just forced. This doesn't even logically make sense. You, 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 the, the, the frog poison... Because to him, he can eat the poison... Whatever. That's right. Very important meat to save. Yep, exactly. No. Fucking watching right now, bro. <laughs> yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Will you? Yeah, you did. 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 Yeah, he can control them. Yes, other demon kids, right? So a skill is something that you learn, but this may be an innate talent? Is that the differentiation? To this kid, he probably feels like he should, you know, be persecuted, but Noor's saying nice things. Man, this kid is just complete honesty. It's just no lies at all. And Noor's just gonna accept him the entire time, obviously, because he's a good guy and he's stupid. Yeah. It's very special. <laughs> Slavery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Help, help my ass. Nope, this is Isekai slavery. Okay. He's too dumb to be hateful. He's right about that. Oh, because he wanted to be useful to somebody. That was one of his, like, wishes. If he could live another life. But this time with purpose. <laughs> Can earn minimum wage! Because he's not stupid, like, you know. Because the persecutions, but Noor has no idea. Because he's like a mountain person, just, just exists, basically separated from society. Even like the demon folk, demon tribe probably has no meaning to him, right? He's, he has, he's just a good person. He's just too ignorant, but nice. <laughs> Wonder what Ines is. 
If Enos says something heinous, bro, oh my god, like, Enos is already, like, th on thin ice, because, like, I don't think a lot of people like her because of her attitude towards Nora. If, if she rejects the demon kid as well, like, holy shit. <laughs> I'm already treated. Don't worry. What? Hold the fuck up. Hold the fuck up. Hold the fuck up. That wasn't even poison. So, basically, I'm gonna assume it's super poison, right? Miasma is a super poison, and he has poison resistance, and now he has acquired miasma resistance. That's what I'm getting at, right? Because like before he survived, maybe it's a totally separate thing. But regardless, he has miasma resistance. Whether or not it's a poison doesn't matter. He has poison resistance and miasma resistance now. So that entire flashback. <laughs> if, if these are not poisonous se separate things, right? If, if these are separate things, that whole flashback was fucking wasted. Because he basically, get, getting hit by that, you know, poison, but the miasma is basically the dragon's, uh, what's it called? The dragon's ruin, but from fresh start. But maybe it is a variant of a poison. It's super poison, but what the fuck? He's uh, miasma resistance. Very good against demon beast now, I guess? Extreme poison. So the dragon's ruin does matter. Did he actually achieve that? No, probably not, right? I, I don't think so. Probably misunderstanding, unless Noor actually unless Noor actually did that while he was eating poison shit as a kid. He is kind of doing what Lin is describing, right? Because what did it do? By holding the body and mind like a saint, right? Because like he, he and like did he learn low heal off of this kid? I, I don't fucking know. I, I think it was, but anyways, I'm just gonna assume that him. Uh, just living that life in the mountains like that is basically the honing the body and mind like a saint. Wonder what he had to do to go through that. Forty years. <gasps> Silver. Half elf witch. It must be Satella. Keep him around. You didn't join the party. Ines! Yeah, but like Nor doesn't know, right? To every person, like obviously demons are very dangerous, but Nor's a mountain dude. He's like, yeah, the demon tribe people. He seems nice. <laughs> it's the wheat field that got messed up. <laughs> this, this kid is the harbinger of disaster. Yeah, it does suck that the wheat fields did get cleared of it, but it's fine. <laughs> yeah, the meat delivery. The, the frog meat delivery. <laughs> Black death. <laughs> I love how there's this constant misunderstanding between Noor and Lin and Ines right now. They're having a conversation, but no one is on the fucking same page. <laughs> Shitty guy with a circlet. He's not lying. I wonder if the city is the exact same place that we're going to as, you know, as an escape route, remember? Because we're still heading towards that one spot and the kid is here, but then again, it could be somewhere else as well. Hmm? The prejudice. Lin actually being smart. Very empathetic. Let's take the kid. 
Nero, no se te agira de maseca. Enes, you. Enes is such a villain, bro. Enes is actually such a fucking villain right now. I understand that this is the logical conclusion that any normal person would have, but like, it's not looking for Enes, man. It's not looking good at all. Like, the whole daddy issue shit and now rejecting the demon kid. Like, I get it. I understand why she would say that, but like, you know, it's still, it's still a bad look. Holy theocracy. Would the holy theocracy be the desert place that the demon kid came from? Probably not, but we'll have to see about that. New character! Oh, hello? Is his hair color similar to a demon's hair? Is this a demon? Ch I'm not sure. It's kind of kinky, his outfit. The blindfold and this little ringlet around his neck definitely does not help. But okay. So it's. I parry. Deadly poison. And that is today's episode of Parry. And honestly, I enjoyed this episode way more than the last episode. The intro, this deep, sad backstory of Demon Kid, it was actually pretty good. A lot of suffering and pain, but like, for the first time, I was taking this show seriously. And it wasn't just like a joke backstory. It was like, oh shit, this is good. Yeah, they were in episode one, right? Uh, Nora's family backstory was also very sad, but this was like, holy shit, it got real. The battle against the frog, and then the, the poison backstory, right? <laughs> the silliest fuck, but that is the theme of I Parry Only, where it's a dumb show where he does dumb things and it just works out. Bro actually thought that he was delivering fucking meat to the kingdom because of how often he eats the poisonous meats regardless. It, it, it's just like, how could you ever come to that conclusion? But hey, Nor, you never fail to uh, surpass my expectations. Now, the demon kid is most likely going to join us even if Ines is being rude, but I get why Ines is saying that, right? Demon folks are supposed to be very dangerous, and in fact, this most recent villain that we see in the end, just because his hair color seems a bit familiar, uh, the same color as Rolo, it could be another demon person, but we'll see about that next episode. Probably going to be a hype fight, and maybe Rolo will have like an impact that convinces Ines that Rolo is a good person, and I'll see you then. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.